Now, from News Channel 8, this is Good Morning Washington. Make up, make up, then break up. Why don't we wake up? Well, in her new book, Married to a Narcissist, author Katinia McHenry shares years of personal journal entries with the hope of helping other people stuck in an empty marriage. And she joins us this morning with her message of enduring the struggle and finding you again. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh my gosh, thank you for having me. You know, this is such, um, I think, a much more common topic than people realize. Yes. Being in a relationship with a narcissist because people Absolutely. don't tend to talk about it. Right. Um, right. You were married for how many years? Almost 10 years. Okay. But five years too long. Okay, I was going to say, you knew that the marriage was over long yes. before that 10 year mark. Yes. Oh, How yes. So? Long before. Well, there were things that were happening before we got married, and um, there, there, were, there was verbal abuse before we got married, and just situations that were so outrageous that you just couldn't even describe to people what what's happening, let alone try to understand what was happening. Early on, I didn't know it was narcissism, but it just continued. Mm -hmm. And I, I, you know, I knew something wasn't right, but I went forward with it anyway, right. <laughs> thinking that, oh, it'll be fine once we get married. Right. You know, when you think marriage will solve whatever mm -hmm. issues you, you may have. I mean, you kind of are naive to that idea, right. you know, when you go through marriage counseling and you think those those instances or those situations and those kind of those meetings are supposed to help fix things between right. him and you. So you don't realize until you're in it. And then it's just it's so overwhelming it's so unbelievable what the other person is trying to do to you it's completely manipulative it's psychological mm -hmm. and so if you're not trained and if you don't understand how to handle that you don't know what to do except right. to just be silent which I was for a very long time right. I suppressed a whole lot more than I should have and what a lot of people don't realize or you know what people think is well, well why didn't you notice these red flags or you know well, why didn't you you know speak up yes you you're being so psychologically manipulated that you don't yes. know you should speak up or That's you right. don't know that there that these were the red flags right talk a little bit about some of those I guess red flags that <sighs> people maybe who are in a relationship right now should be on the lookout for. yes so one of the major red flags is every situation is about them they don't involve themselves in and situations unless it somehow revolves around them mm -hmm. and then they manip manipulate the situation so you could talk to them about something or point out something that they've done to maybe offend you or hurt you in some way and then suddenly it becomes about them. It's because it becomes what you've done to them. To provoke to that, pro exactly. that, that behavior in yes, them. Exactly. Ooh, yes, exactly. So that's a major red flag mm -hmm. where everything revolves around them. And if it doesn't, they manipulate the situation. So in the end, it, it still is about them. And it's a very frustrating situation because you want them to hear what you're saying and you want them to listen to you, but they don't have the ability to empathize. So because they can't empathize, they can't they can't sympathize with you and right. understand where you're coming from in your perspective. So that's a major red flag. Okay. Um, you broke the book up into two different sections. Yes. The first is kind of what you actually went through, the marriage, the separation, and the divorce. Yes. And, and these were all just journal entries by yes. you that were never intended to be put into a book. No, not at all. I started out writing I mean as a journalist you just write right. and that was my down, way yeah. to express what was going on because again I didn't know how to talk about it I didn't even know how to talk to my parents about it because they they knew something was wrong but they didn't know exactly what was mm -hmm. wrong so yes it started out as just journal entries from early on in the marriage probably mm -hmm. the first few months or so I just started writing and then I had to write down what was happening because it was it's so unbelievable. I mean, you'll read in the book situations where you're just flabbergasted by how you're being treated and how horribly you're being treated. But so, it's yes. always turned around to make it feel like you've done something exactly. wrong. Even Everything though you know true. you're being mistreated, Absolutely. You're, you're constantly made to believe, but you caused this situation. Right. It's because of you. And everything is always your fault. Mm -hmm. yeah, Telltale so, sign of a narcissist. Oh my gosh. That, that's another red flag. I yeah. guess everything is your fault. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so the journal entries kept piling up. And then um, last summer, I looked at all that material and content and wondered, is that something what should I do with that and then some of the entries I hadn't read in about eight years eight ten years or so and so reading some of that back it was so hard to read that mm -hmm. because it was almost like an out-of-body experience where I thought oh my god that was me going through that mm -hmm. and how horrible can someone else be to another person it, it's unbelievable so yes the second half of the book is talking about how I came out of it and how to handle it and how to deal with it and how to separate yourself from the abuse right well it sounds like though we were just talking and <laughs> another telltale sign of a narcissist is once you try to end the relationship since they can no longer control you they f they smear your name and yes. they try to control other people's perceptions of you and that's something you're still enduring I'm still five years out of the marriage yes no se or seven, seven years. years out of the marriage okay. yes it's like 
seven, the number seven is an interesting number. <laughs> seven year itch. <laughs> right. Lucky number seven. <laughs> Look at it one way or another. Yeah. But yeah, it's seven years and he's, he's still coming after me. He's suing me right now for six days of visitation that he says I kept the children from him. So, but it's not about, it's not about that. It's mm -hmm. about him not being able to control the situation. It's about me separating myself from the abuse and moving further away from him and setting boundaries. They don't like boundaries. They don't like for you to say, no, I'm not going to do that and you're not going to treat me like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's about. It's never about what you think it is. It's always an underlying issue that, again, comes back to them. Always. It's a, the world revolves oh around them. Oh my gosh. Um, so how tough is it to leave a narcissist and what would your, you know, one piece of advice be for somebody who's like, hmm, maybe that's the person I'm with? Yes. Well, it is always know that it's very difficult to leave a narcissist because, again, it's you taking control back of your life and you empowering yourself. And they've it's, usually beat you down oh so much gosh. that you don't think you have it in you. Yes. Your self-esteem is so damaged mm -hmm. and so severed that you have to work to put that back together again. And that's why the, the, the subtitle of the book is Finding You Again because that's a huge part of it, finding yourself again and remembering who you are and what you're about. So it takes a lot of strength. Think about that first and think about self-care. You have mm -hmm. to really think about taking care of yourself and remembering what you want is just as important. So know that it's going to be a fight. It'll probably be a difficult fight, especially if you have children, but you have to stick with it and know that there are more people out there who will treat you better than how you're being treated by a narcissist. Mm -hmm. So you always have to remember that as well and know that you can do it. There'll be some days where you will feel like, it's better to just stay with that person because you don't want to upset them and you don't know what's going to, what, what the trigger will be. The trigger, be. the trigger. Will yeah. set them off, yeah. but you have to keep going through it because it's not healthy. It's a very, un, un, very unhealthy relationship. And people are not only married to narcissists. People work with them. People have parents that are narcissists, and so they're everywhere. That's true, very yes. true. Um, last question for you here before yes. we're running out of time. Um, ever before you got married, when you started seeing some of these signs, did you ever think, did the word narcissist ever come into your wheelhouse? No, okay. it didn't. It wasn't really one of those things that was prominent at that point. I knew things were happening, but I didn't have a label and I didn't have a title and a disorder to match mm -hmm. with the behavior and match with what was happening. So it wasn't until probably four years in that I started hearing the term and started reading more about it and then started realizing, oh my God, that's him. Like, mm -hmm. that's how he's behaving. Mm -hmm. And so then I started to research it a lot more and learn so much more about the disorder. And it's astonishing. Well, you said, you know, that he's still coming after you. Yes. Are you happier, though, than I'm you've so, ever been? You know what? Every time I have the opportunity to talk about it, it is so liberating. So, yes, I'm so much happier. Good. I feel so much more free. <laughs> Good. And I feel so much more whole as a person. Life starts so, all over again. Oh, my gosh. It, it really does. does. <laughs> it does. So, yes, see my smile? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So your website, findingyouagain.org, yes. people can find Find out more information and they can also pick up a copy of the book. Absolutely. Continue. It's also on Amazon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much. 853 here. And remember when they said that the Spice Girls said that they had some big news about a month ago? Well, it looks like Mel B may have confirmed what that is.